Hi everyone, welcome to JavaScript coding interview series and in today's question you had to find the boolean output of the below code and you had to provide a valid reason why you have selected this particular option as your answer. You have a const falsy where you are creating a new boolean of false. If it is falsy, you have two if conditions within that. Okay, in the first if condition, if it is checking if it is an empty array, it is trying to print console.log of array uh, is empty. And in the second if condition, it is comparing an empty array with false and it is if it is passing that condition, then it is trying to print uh, another empty is compared with false. Okay, and you have four option. Okay, the first option is uh, empty uh, array is empty and the second console is not printed that is non logs and uh, you have the B option where it is printing both the console, the first console array is empty and the second console empty array is compared with false. And the third option is the first console is not printed and the second console is printed empty array is compared with false and in the fourth option it means that there are no logs for the even for the first console and for the second console there are no logs printed. So please try it uh, from your end and see what is the output you are getting. So let's try from our end and see what is the output we are getting. So we have this particular script, okay, it's available in the test.js file and this particular script I am calling it from the uh, index.html which is available as you can see here. So let me run this, okay, and for the moment I am just uh, commenting out this console, okay. Okay, I will just console, okay. These two particular lines I will just comment it out and let me refresh the page and open the console so that nothing is visible if in case it prints. So the console is uh, here and now the uh, HTML is up and running and the script is up and running, okay. So first what we are trying to do, we are trying to uh, create a const falsy variable, okay, in that const uh, falsy what we are setting, we are trying to create a new boolean object and in that boolean what we are trying to give uh, value as false. So what it does is, what boolean does is, boolean object is an object wrapper for a boolean value, okay, it's a wrapper and for a boolean value. So what happens if you try to print a uh, falsy, okay, console.log of falsy. Okay, now if I print a console.log of falsy, it will not print uh, directly as false, okay. So there are two concepts, okay, one is the boolean object and one is the boolean primitive. So if console.log of falsy, you can exp you can see that uh, it prints a boolean object. In that boolean object, the primitive value is false. So this is the primitive value that we are actually uh, like true and false, right. So this is the primitive value. But as a whole, falsy is a boolean object which has a primitive value of false. So it is an object which is having a prototype. So what happens uh, if uh, we put uh, falsy in this if condition and what uh, there is another thing, okay. Uh, instead of this new boolean, okay, I am just making it as boolean, okay. I am not trying to create a, uh, an object, okay? okay. So for the moment let me try to create another variable, const truthy, okay. In that I am setting a new object, boolean object of false and console.log of truthy. Okay. So here actually I am uh, not creating an object. Okay. If I create an object, it will be a boolean object with a primitive value of false. But here I am directly without creating an object, I am directly passing the boolean value. Okay. So it is considering as an uh, variable only. So what happens? So here if you see here, if I print truthy, so it is directly false, okay, if it is false. So that is the main difference between a new boolean object and a boolean, directly assigning boolean, okay. So uh, what will happen if I am actually putting it in the if condition, if I am putting in the uh, if truthy and within that console.log of truthy, okay, what will happen? You can see here that particular line has not been printed because the line it didn't get into the if loop. But if I am putting falsy, okay, if I am putting falsy, uh, you can see that it gets into the if block, okay. It gets into the if block and line number 10 gets printed. So why? Because 
because it's a boolean object okay it is a boolean object and if you pass it in the if condition what happens it's considering it as an object it's having an object and hence it will be getting inside the uh, if block so in our case also okay in our case as well this uh, particular thing will be getting inside the if block okay so uh, this particular thing uh, if it will be getting in the if block and again we will be having two if condition okay so for the moment i'm just uh, removing this console i'm just cutting that console okay now what we are trying to do we are actually checking uh, if an empty array okay we are actually uh, checking if an empty array then whether the console will be printed or not okay so in that case we have to know how the boolean value is set behind the scene okay so for that if the boolean value is emitted okay omitted or is zero or minus zero null false or nan undefined or the empty string the object has an initial value of false so the object will be having an initial value of false in all other values like including an, any object an empty array or the string false creates an object with an initial value of true okay by this what we mean is like if it is an empty array okay in our case it is an empty array so that will be actually returning a true okay so for that we can actually check that uh if i am doing uh okay it's instead of this i'm passing an empty object okay so then what will happen to false c let me comment that out okay it is as it is so here you can say boolean value of the primitive value is true so that is what happens so it's again an object okay and if it is directly uh, okay so the truth is gone right instead of this if i am putting a boolean of empty again it will be truth truthy okay so here it is saying it is true so that's what happens so if it gets into this particular thing okay this particular thing and it says that this is true okay this particular thing is true and if it is true what happens console dot log of uh, array is empty gets printed okay if this is true okay if it is true this console dot log of uh, array uh, is empty is gets printed and as you can see here array empty is getting printed okay now we are actually comparing if uh, this particular array with a false okay so we are actually having a double equal to in double equal to what happens the value of the value of this particular thing will be uh, checked with the false okay what is this value so it will be converted to two string okay uh, const error okay it's equal to okay it will be converted to two string and this will be compared to false okay because this is a double equal to in that case the value will be compared between this okay so what is it returning it is returning an empty string so what we are saying a uh, empty string which will be returning see and the empty string will be an object has an initial value of false we can check that out okay so if you put console.log of console.log of boolean of array okay so we are trying to print the boolean of array what we have got from the empty string uh, empty array okay so if i print that you can see here it gets printed as uh, false okay okay so that i think that console i have just removed so because it is false okay because it is false so false when it is compared with false the value is false in both the cases and that is why you were able to see this empty array is compared with false is also getting printed okay so in our case the question was like this boolean of false and you can see it is an object no boolean of false and okay so this lines were not there just i'm commenting it out so this was our question initially right falsy no boolean of false and in that what we are trying to do okay for the moment i will just uh, okay put it here uh, if it is falsy then what we'll do uh, if it is falsy so what happened boolean of false is a boolean object and hence it will be getting entering into the if block and if is compared with an empty array empty array will be uh, 
true because boolean of this is true because we have seen here an empty array it will be having an initial value of true so here actually it is directly uh, putting it into the if condition rather than uh, creating a boolean object and hence it will be printing console.log of array is empty and the second one when it is compared with a double equal to to false what happens the empty array is converted to a string value and if you uh, print the console.log of boolean of string value empty string what will happen it is returning false as you can see here an empty string will be returning an initial value of false okay so in that case when a false is compared with false this particular console is also printed so and hence the answer we will be getting okay so this is the answer so both the uh, consoles are getting printed and the option b is the correct answer okay so uh, apart from that okay so apart from that uh, okay any object of which the value is not defined undefined or null including a boolean object whose value is false evaluates to true when passed to a conditional statement because it's a boolean object okay it's a boolean object that is why it is getting entering into the uh, if block okay so that is why it's getting printed so i hope you got an idea about the boolean output okay so boolean is basically a object wrapper for a boolean value and this is not equivalent to the primitive boolean okay primitive boolean if you want the primitive boolean then you have to without the new op new object you have to keep this uh, this way so then that will be it will not go into the if block and both will not be getting printed okay that is because it is considering a primitive boolean and hence it will be false and if it is false it will not enter into the if blocks then in that case the answer would have been no logs and no logs okay as it is a boolean object it entered the if block and then from there on considering everything as an empty array and okay now there is another case what happens if it is a triple equal to okay so triple equal to actually it will compare an array with this okay it will not uh, check the value right it will be checking the type as well if it is an array and this is a false so in that case the second console will not be printed okay so you can see the only the first console is printed because it is in a strict uh, equality check so in that case it will not get printed if it is only a double equal to it will be getting printed because it will just check the value that value it is an empty string and empty string is equivalent to false that is why it is uh, printing this particular console so i hope you got an idea about uh, what is a boolean and how the boolean expressions are used uh, so that's it for today's video thanks a lot for watching